Hey everybody, thanks for checking out this video. I'm Susan Lynn. I'm a psychic and a medium. Today we're going to be talking about politics and we're going to be talking about the big picture. If you guys are new here, thanks so much. I am channeling. It's about 60% spirit guides, 40% Susan makes for an interesting interaction. Uh, but also I want to say that the way I do my business here on YouTube is it's the big picture, right? I mean, yes, we all want to know that Kamala Harris is going to win. She's going to win. Yes, we all want to know that the Democrats are going to uh, take over the House and the Senate. Yes, that is definitely going to happen. Okay, predictions out of the way, right? Uh, I would also say that, yes, there is a big bad hurricane headed for Florida right now. It is probably a category five hurricane. I do think it's going to reduce in, in the category estimation. So I think it will drop down to a three or four, but it's still going to be a major impact on Florida. And um, all the guides say is that it could cut Florida in half. And I don't mean like, you know, like a. I often think of hurricanes as buzz saws. I'm in hurricane country. I've been through hurricanes similar to this. Um, I've been in experiences like this. So, but I don't mean it like it bifurcates Florida. I mean that it it does go across Florida. It, it does create a line of destruction across Florida. Um, my heart goes out to you guys. If you can evacuate, please do. But also if you don't live in Florida and you don't live in hurricane country, please be mindful that you really don't know what you don't know. It would be like me telling you how to handle an earthquake. Not going to happen. I'd be running down the street butt naked because I forgot to put on my PJs or some stuff like that. I don't know. I'd jump out the shower and be gone, right? I'd be like, y'all, I don't know what's going on. I would be doing somersaults not planned, okay? Uh, it's like me telling you about wildfires. Don't know about them. Please be mindful. People that have been through hurricanes before know what they're doing. They know what to expect. And just like any other disaster, you never know what to expect, but you can do the best you can do. It is a long commute if you try to evacuate. If you look at a map, you see that Florida is a very long state. It's not like some other states where you can drive an hour and be out of the way of whatever is happening. This is a five, six, seven hour drive. And you want to know what? You head north through Florida and you get to the panhandle and you think you're safe, but the darn storm turns to the panhandle and now you're not safe. Now you're in a hotel and your house is perfectly fine. It's frustrating to understand the decisions that you, yes, we have a lot of warning the hurricane is coming, but we don't know exactly where it's going. It can change path. and it's infuriating to be in that position. So just please try not to tell those people what to do or that they're stupid or that they live in a red state and they deserve what they get, because honestly, that's not helpful. And it's, it's not the right direction. Earth is vibrating at a higher rate. We are all ascending. And if you can't be compassionate for people and to people, you're not going to catch the ride. Okay. You're going to be kind of left behind in misery. So Please try to be compassionate to people and understand they're making the best choices that they can make for themselves at that time and just send them love and light. You know, let's just all put Mother Earth in the freezer because she needs to calm the hell down. Right. I mean, that's what we need to be doing instead of bitching and moaning about people in a red state that uh, their governor won't even support them with FEMA and how they shouldn't live there, which is not helpful. Why don't you? write down Mother Earth and put her on a piece of paper and put her in the freezer so she can calm the F down. Okay, now let's talk about what we really came here to talk about. And that is power. It's about October surprise. Uh, There's so many October surprises that it's gonna be a blitz or a blizzard of them. Gone are the days when you can just have one really good, uh, juicy October surprise. No, no, we have TikTok and on the internet, social media out the yin yang, and we can make this happen 24 seven for weeks on end. No, we really need more than just one because our attention spans have been reduced to a pigeons. So if you really want an October surprise to really 
stick around and have some impact, you need to have five or 10 of those suckers, right? So let's talk about it because the spear guide, we did, um, we did a post on YouTube, but I also post a lot on threads, social media. If you're, if you're on threads, please come look me up at Susan Lynn spirit navigator. Y'all I'm tearing it up over there. I'm like, man, I'm like, I'm, I've got rabies over there. <laughs> so if you want to see the spicy Susan, that's where she hanging out. Um, so I did a post because the spirit guides were talking about power vacuum and they, they've talked about this for the last six weeks or so. And as is the case, they start talking about it way before it's, you know, anything that anybody's thinking about, right? Because they're so far in the future. So let's talk about this power vacuum and power and let's talk about October surprise. Okay, so that leads me back to Hollywood. Surprising? Yes. The Spirit Guide's been telling you guys all the way since the writer strike last year, because at the time I was doing readings, I am not doing readings. At the time I was doing readings and I had a few clients that were involved in the Hollywood writer strike. And I remember at the time, the Spirit Guide saying, you guys need to get on YouTube. You need to work a deal with Netflix. I mean, you need to stand in your own power because Hollywood is falling apart. The whole the whole complex, the whole power center of Hollywood is being dismantled. And, you know, that went over about like how you might think, like, are you crazy lady? <laughs> you know what I mean? So here we are. Uh, here we are today where Hollywood is really about to fall apart and why that matters and why that is a potential. No, I don't even think it's a potential. I think it's really going to be an October surprise for Kamala Harris. Let's crack open this situation. We have P. Diddy. Uh, maybe you're not following the news. Maybe you don't know who he is. As I always say, send me the address of your rock because I would like to live under it with you. P. Diddy, very famous rapper, but not only a famous rapper, he is a, a mogul. The, the guides are calling him a business mogul. I mean, he made careers like Justin Bieber and a lot of people. And he also had these parties where he would invite people. Um, if, if you're such a big mover and shaker that you can actually make a career like a Justin Bieber, then of course, everybody wants to go to your parties. Everybody wants to be associated with you. Even Kamala Harris has pictures with him. I think everybody has a picture with him. The reason is because this guy understands power and he understands that that one picture where it went from, hey, we're hanging out at this award ceremony or at this party and we're just standing next to each other. But right as the shutter clicks, he puts his arm around him and gets chummy because he knows that is worth money, that that is worth leverage. OK, so what I'm trying to say to you is, is that Kamala Harris is not involved in the shenanigans, in the crimes, alleged crimes. P. Diddy is in jail right now because of his alleged crimes over decades. Uh, he's such a he's such a hot product of a prisoner, of a potential prisoner that they won't let him out on bail. He tried everything. He put up $50 million and the judge said no, because he has a kind of a tendency or a history allegedly of really intimidating witnesses, including just before he was arrested, he was intimidating one of the witnesses. So the judge said, no, we can't risk you being out doing this thing because you're going to right? Get involved in your own case and make witnesses disappear or change their opinion. Okay. Now, there are several threads here. You need to just try to stay with me. One is power in general, right? Uh, okay. How interesting that P. Diddy is in jail for intimidating witnesses, for alleged crimes that he hasn't even been tried for yet. Guess who? 45 has been tried has been convicted, and the judge refused to sentence him until after the election. Okay, this is the problem. We are grappling with these people that are too big to charge or too big to take down. 
and you know on occasion we get it right you know we we take the enron down you know we we take the weinstein down the harvey weinstein although he got out on a technicality he's out of prison right now but they are taking steps to bring him back to trial and to remedy that but we have this p diddy who it just seems like the justice system is so angry energetically let's just say because they've been thwarted you know if we want to think about the justice system as a consciousness that if you want to think that the majority of judges the majority of prosecutors attorneys whatever the majority of them believe that they're doing the right thing they believe in in the the efficacy of their job of the importance of their job so it's almost like energetically karmically the energy said that's enough right that's enough of letting these people off the hook we need to hold this person accountable so p diddy is in jail along with sam bankman freed <laughs> who's a different kind of criminal right so they're in the same actually in the same jail dormitory is what they want to call it that's what the prison calls it uh because they're in a really particularly horrible terrible jail in brooklyn that has a bad reputation of people disappearing getting murdered blah 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 so they're trying to keep these two guys alive by putting them together in their own dormitory again irony karma don't know so let's go back to kamala so here's the thing of course p diddy has a picture with kamala and again there's this sense of chumminess but when i look into the energy it's like she's standing there and then he's like oh come on you know and it's all so fun right it's like sure let's have fun right um that's different having one picture with this man in a public setting is different where we're going to run into trouble are we gonna run into trouble well we're gonna run into trouble because <laughs> sorry i had to ask the spirit guides myself i'm like wait what wait what um where we're gonna run into trouble is is that the people that are following this understand that that p diddy could really bring down a lot of hollywood like a, a lot of people that you even love maybe not rappers maybe pop stars maybe even a country star definitely politicians uh media personalities okay we're not ready for this this is what this is what actually the people who know what's in or let's just say there are videos okay there are videos and when i read on this last i told you guys that you know epstein epstein ran his situation like a business everything was accounted for if there was a camera it was accounted for if there was a memory a media card it was accounted for if there was a person at that party they were accounted for p diddy is different it was free flow you know sure there were handlers that brought people in sure there were contracts with groups of people that brought in underage kids allegedly yes that stuff was business but once everything sort of got moving it was really a free-for-all and i'm telling you this because in the past video i said to you specifically and they're reminding me these exact words so it'll probably show up in a news some sort of news article sometime it's almost like the cleaning crew finds a media card well actually what i'm seeing is a usb jump drive you know those usb the ones that we used to use um behind the toilet like they're cleaning the bathroom and they find it behind the toilet and they just pick it up and put it in their pocket the point being is that so many people have video of what happened yes p diddy has video of what happened because he blackmailed people allegedly or he kept people in check meaning you're never going to speak of this because even though maybe you didn't you know go downstairs or upstairs 
you saw the underage kids walk by and we have video of you see what i'm saying what i feel like is going to come out is video that makes people look criminal when they're not criminal okay let's split that hair shall we is it criminal to be at a party and see some young a you know people that you kids whatever that you know are not legal walk by you is it criminal to allow that to go on is it criminal to stand there and be videoed while it's going on okay let's take it a step further what if you're standing there and you don't even know that that's going to happen and then it happens and it's too late because you're like what is going on too late you're already videoed with those kids it's going to be taken out of context you're toast you can say to us all day long i never did anything with those kids i left immediately i never went back doesn't matter we have a picture a video or a picture of you with these kids do you understand now how earth shattering world shattering this situation is okay now again going back to kamala harris i don't think there's videos like that of her there but let me tell you how they're going to run their operation you have a picture of some pop star with these kids just filing past or whatever the next picture is a picture of kamala harris with p diddy at a party humans are not we're not um equipped i wanted to say sharp because it's true we're not uh we know our discernment is not fixed our discernment is not sharpened enough to say yeah you have a picture of her with p diddy that then you have a video where she's not in and the only common denominator here is p diddy is <laughs> not kamala harris right but it's going to put her on the back foot now we go to power this guy is very powerful and and if this one man with his videos could take down a couple of pop stars a couple of media stars think about somebody who's really big who's really big and these are the people i'm talking about okay now did these people participate in horrendous criminal acts i don't know but it doesn't matter because you're guilty by association okay so in the middle of october i'm not saying a hundred percent this is going to come out in october if if the powers that be could push this into november they would because for so many reasons right um it gives them another month to buy witnesses off to buy the videos to make deals to redirect you know it gives people time but on the other side of this you have somebody like 45 who would do anything to ruin you and the difference is is that 45 is not that sharp he's not that he's not that strategic like p diddy and epstein you know epstein did this with the political people but again epstein kept everything under lock and key it's not out floating around somewhere there's just not that many people that could come forward they've been taken care of in one way or another the same way that 45 is taken care of these women these women that came out and said hey i was sa'd by this man they actually gave their deposition which is a pretty brave thing to do and then they recanted because they literally said to the prosecutor i'm afraid for my life i'm afraid for my family 45 even came out and said recently and i mean within the last couple of days yeah you know kamala harris uh voters they don't say they can't say publicly that they support her because they're afraid of being hurt that's a threat 
don't underestimate how much these threats really impact people. Okay. So what I think is going to ha likely happen is when I go into this energy, it's all about timing. Um, right now you have Kamala Harris doing the most amazing job ever, right? She just went on her daddy or whatever that podcast was which is one of the most popular podcasts in the country and it's listened to by women and it got rave reviews it was really frank if you just look up kamala harris daddy podcast i hope you find it and i hope you don't end up in some place else if you do close the browser <laughs> so anyway um she is, was on 60 minutes which was kind of a not the best interview it was it, it actually it makes 60 minutes look stodgy and stupid compared to the podcast interview which was fun and enlightening and really deep like really deep a great interview right so cnn lost this deal because they just look like they look like they're chiseling something out of stone instead of catching up with the rest of us and where our energy is, right? This is a TikTok nation. This is a TikTok. We are in video, social media, reality world. It is not stayed and uh, stuffed and gotcha questions. That's not where we are. She's also doing The View. Um, she's also doing, I think, Stephen Colbert. And she's also doing Howard Stern. So she's putting an immense amount of media out there. If you think about it, the Howard Stern people are very different <laughs> than the View people. Their audiences do not overlap. The Howard Stern is very different than the 60 Minutes. The Her Daddy podcast is very different than the View. She's hitting all the different demographics. She's knocking it out of the park. What she's doing is she's timing her peak. You know, when you're in politics or you're even on a stage or you're in a sports stadium, you've got to perform at, at the critical pinnacle of that particular hitting that note, making that gesture on the stage, hitting that hoop, making that field goal, running across the line, the goal, whatever it is, the basket, whatever it is. You've got to peak. She is building the energy of her peak to peak right when she needs to. But she's also, because she's no fool. This woman is no fool. And, and the guides were telling me this morning that she, um, I don't remember who her, she, she hired the campaign manager that Obama used, who's uh, seen as a whiz kid. I, he's not a kid, but he's seen as, as really as a super, like a wizard kind of guy when it comes to this stuff. And I know what the guides told me this morning was, you tell your PR person everything that you need to tell them the same way you tell your attorney everything you need to tell them, right? You come clean because they need to be able to get in front of the situation. You don't want to hold anything back to your attorney, you know? You don't want to hold anything back to your campaign manager or your PR person. They need to know where your vulnerabilities are. P. Diddy is a vulnerability. Again, she didn't do anything, but yes, there are pictures of her. They're already floating around. The you know, crazy land, dark magas are already doing it. But it it's not it's not catching fire. Where it's gonna catch fire is if somebody, and this could be P. Diddy's people. Because he's trying to tell everybody, I'm not playing with you. I can take down royalty. Epstein could too. But Epstein was epstein And I really thought Diddy was going to be diddy epstein But he didn't. So he still got the potential to wreck careers, to wreck lives. I mean ruin them so what i see is the potential not 100 percent, but the potential because again everybody has free will i thought they were going to take diddy out 
But the problem is that the videos are everywhere. Like I said, everybody's got a little something. Everybody's got a little something that they can prove beyond just um, I was there. You know, if you're on TikTok, there's Jaguar. I can't remember her name, but I saw another lady who was saying the same thing. She said, I was trafficked to, this is her allegation, I was trafficked to P. Diddy from social services in California. That's her allegation. This is, this is not good. This is, this is bad. And it could be enough of a fireball October surprise that it could cause some, what I'm seeing is distraction, distraction from all the good that, that Kamala is doing. But in the end, it doesn't work. And I'll tell you why. Because she spent this week, right now, this week, October, you know, 8th, this week of this, this week, doing that media. T millions, tens, hundreds of millions of people will be introduced to her possibly for the first time. And they'll be introduced to her in a way that is real, that is authentic, uh, that feels right. And they're going to believe Kamala Harris over P. Diddy or a P. Diddy surrogate or a hit job. But I'm just warning you that it's out there. Okay. And I'm, and I'm going to tell you, Kamala knows it's out there. That's why I said the whole thing about her sharing with her campaign manager, hey, um, you know, let's talk about this. Let's come up with a plan because I'm probably going to have to address it. So I don't see it. I don't see it being a big problem for her. I see it being a big problem for our society because I'm looking at you and your eyeballs right now. And I'm telling you, somebody you dearly love, somebody that you think the world of, somebody that maybe sung songs that got you through the divorce, that got you through the treatment, that got you through a tough time, could end up being associated with P. Diddy in a way that makes you feel like your world is upside down. What I want to tell you is, is that some of that is going to be smoke and mirrors. Again, if you're a star, an up and coming star or a star or a very popular media person. I mean, or a very popular political person. Look, the Obamas could be in on this in the sense that they were at a party. And here's P. Diddy, who's a mega star. Of course, you're going to get a picture with the megastar. Does that mean you were in the room where the bad things happened? No, we have to have discernment. So if you see your favorite person and you're hearing all this chatter on the interwebs about they are dirty, they were, they did this. And I don't want you to respond to those people. It's not your job hear me say that it's not your job to stand up for these people even Kamala Harris it's not your job because the people who are going to be spouting off and talking about this are either a bots meaning not human or humans that have gotten so brain addled and pickled that they're not reachable OK, so what all that's going to happen is, is that you're going to be in an anger. You're going to be angry. You're going to feel hurt. You're going to feel unsafe. You're going to feel knocked. You're, the wind is going to get knocked out of you is what the spirit guides are saying. So, look, you've been warned. OK, I would not believe that my favorite person was in the room doing the things with the kids unless I looked at them and I knew it and I couldn't deny it. So if you're looking at them and you're saying it's not true, then it's not true. It's, it's a, um, a hit job, a character assassination. Okay. And it's meant 
not only is it meant to create distraction and chaos in a time when we all need to be focused on doing the thing where you go to the polls. By the way, if you haven't done your thing and you can do your thing, don't wait. I used to be the person who liked to vote on the day. I was that person. My dad was that person. I don't do it. I, I do it early. They're not going to lose it. it. As a matter of fact, if you do it early, they can't lose it. If you do it on the day, believe me when I say anything could happen. Don't wait till the day. Do it early. OK, so they're trying to create these distractions for that reason. But also. He is trying to. Silence and, and chill freeze people. Right. If he can just send one video out and take down somebody really big in, in the movie star pop world, whatever imagine what he can do to you imagine what he can do to the rest of us even if it's not true you are you are really between a rock and a hard place and this is the same thing and it's so interesting is it not this is the same thing that's happened with the republicans and some democrats uh yeah come on over to russia and have a good weekend we'll hook you up whatever you want you want some russia vodka you want a russian woman you want a russian man you want to you know fill in the blank we'll make it happen for you no one has to know your family your wife husband whatever is back there in the states this is party time get your freak on then they video you and then they show you the video and guess what for the rest of your life you are a puppet on a str string okay Lindy Graham is a good example of that, but there are many of them. 45 is an example of that. He is not his own person. He is owned. So in this way, how interesting, right? Yeah. Power. P. Diddy, Putin, 45, even Netanyahu, Musk, so many people. But this is happening all the way down the food chain, you guys. This could be your husband. This could be your wife. This could be your boss. You know, they're sociopaths. They're narcissists. The energy doesn't just exist in the Hollywood or in Congress. If the energy is in Congress, it's everywhere. If the energy is in Hollywood, it's everywhere. So in your own life too, pay attention to where the narcissists are operating, where you're afraid to say something, where you're walking on eggshells. If you're walking on eggshells, it's a pretty good indication something isn't working correctly. And that's the energy that I'm seeing all over. And that's the energy where humans have just about had enough we've had enough not yet not this month not next month but into 2025 into 2026 humans the guides are giving me the same analogy that they gave me a few videos ago because it's so perfect sometimes you know that person sometimes when they're asleep and you got to wake them up and they wake up swinging and you're like, I hate waking them up because they're like, what, what? And they start, you know, fighting. Like, I don't know people like that, but I know there are people like that. This is humanity. We've been asleep. When we wake up, we're not going to be happy. We're going to be fighting. Okay. So I wanted to do this video because I wanted to give you a heads up about this thing with P. Diddy and Kamala. I wanted to help you understand discernment. I wanted to help you understand that when you get this news about your favorite person, not necessarily to believe it just because they were at a party. And yeah, so there, the guides are reminding me, there is a lot of pushback online about, hey, if you're at a party and you see a child walk by and go up some stairs or five, uh, you should do something. I I get it. I'm not trying to dismiss these people but i'm also trying to tell you that if you haven't been in that situation where 
did I see it? Maybe they're his kids. You know, if you didn't see abuse, what is your role? What is your responsibility? Right. And there's a lot of people on TikTok in different places saying, I was there. And I, these are the, a lot of women specifically, because, hey, Divine Feminine is getting ready to bust out. A lot of women saying I was there and this is how I never got S aid. This is how I never got drugged. This is how I never ended up being trafficked because I faked being drunk and I climbed out the bathroom window or I said I needed to go out and get feminine hygiene out of my car and I ran like hell. But just because that person had the street smarts or the wherewithal to save themselves doesn't mean we can't have compassion for the people who didn't save themselves. They, they were also victims. Okay. It's just, I talked about compassion in my last video and I got a little bit of pushback that you guys are like, sorry, not going to do it. Like if, if a MAGA comes to me crying cause they lost all their money, I'm not going to have any compassion for them. <laughs> like, I mean, I get it. The Susan part of me gets it. I am a reactionary human. <laughs> That's what they want to call me. I react first and think about later. So I should have been a redhead. I don't know why I'm not a redhead, but I'm all about that kind of energy. So I get it. But as we, I'm just telling you that you will have compassion. I, I'm, I'm just telling you because it's in your heart and we're humans. And um, you might be, you know, a little bit PO'd at yourself for having compassion, but you're going to have compassion. Let's have compassion for all of these people and let's, let's just not judge them. I just want you to not judge your pop star, your favorite, favorite, favorite person, and then go off the deep end into even a depression because this was you know, too much, right? Like I, I can't deal with all of this, with this E-L-E-C-T-I-O-N, with this 45 man, with all these states acting crazy. I can't deal with all this. And now you're going to say to me that this person that I admire so much is, has invo been involved in these dastardly things. You've got to do the self-care. Don't jump to conclusions. Don't judge people. Okay. There's more than enough evidence to put P. Diddy in jail until his court, for sure. But I just don't think there's going to be evidence that some of these people, and I don't want to even say their names. Oh, I'll say that one thing. I don't want to say their names because, again, I don't think, I don't think they were involved. But I think they were there. I think they were there at the party but I don't think they were involved. So the last thing I will say, and I will say his name because this is something that bothers Susan, the human component of the situation is um, Jay-Z. So Jay-Z is the husband of Beyonce. And you recall probably that me and a lot of other psychics were picking up that Beyonce was going to be at the DNC. Even Don Lemon, uh, TMZ, who TMZ doesn't get too much wrong, um, all said, she's there. She's in the town. She's going to be at the at the um, Democratic Convention. She was not at the Democratic Convention. And not to say that I'm that I'm right, uh, but it the energy was so strong. And then when you have other psychics saying it, and then you have TMZ and Lemon and all the, you know, you're like, wow, how could we have gotten this wrong? It's kind of like you kind of want to go back and see where you made the mistake in the math. You know what I mean? It was that kind of moment. Well, I think what happened is, is that she was supposed to be there. And I think that Kamala Harris, being Kamala Harris, being a Californian, being a prosecutor, being attorney general, DA, all these things. She knew something was going down with P. Diddy. She knew P. Diddy is connected to Jay-Z. She knew the Beyonce is connected to Jay-Z. And she knew this was going to land her later. It's going to give everybody too much fuel. She's already using the song, you know, Beyonce's freedom song. 
And I have, I can't prove this, but I've heard reports that she's using it less. She's not using it so, it, with so much vigor. She's using it less because this thing is going to get to Jay-Z, which is then going to get to Beyonce, which is then going to get to Kamala. Now you have two problems. You have Jay-Z pictures. You have, excuse me, you have P. Diddy pictures with Kamala. And then you have Kamala using Beyonce's song, who's married to Jay-Z, who may be connected allegedly to P. Diddy. It's a problem, you guys. I'm giving you a heads up. You've been forewarned, right? Um, forewarned is good in my opinion. Forewarned is like a weather forecast. Hey, it's going to rain today. You might want to be prepared for that. Or big cold fronts coming through. You might want to be prepared for that. Forewarned is just that. There may be a cold front coming through. You may want to prepare for it. That's all I'm doing here. Um, and and the guides are giving you some extra things that they like to give you about compassion and, you know, and taking care of yourself. So when you see these people that you love and you admire and you respect and you see them cast in this very unkind light that you step back and have some discernment. Don't believe everything you see. Understand this could really be different than it looks. OK, Kamala's going to make it through this because she's spending this whole week bulletproofing herself. That's what she's doing. That's what this week is. It's literally her armor against what could be coming out um, maybe next week or the week after. I feel like they want this to come out pretty close to the day because people don't have a long memory again, right? We, we're just, we don't, we have the concentration of a squirrel or something. So I feel like they would even wait until the last week of October, but you might see some rumblings of this before then. Now everybody has free will and enough deals might be made to forestall the releasing of any material. So this is not 100% prediction. This is the energy. This is what they're trying to do. It's like somebody's trying to rob a bank and they get all the materials and they get the car and they get the peep, the buddies, you know, and they, they make the plan. And then the night they go to do it, their tire gets a flat. Okay. Free will trumps everything, you guys. But this is the energy. It's big energy. And it's big enough energy that I wanted to share it with you because forewarned is forearmed. The energy is wackadoodle. It's just, it's just nuts going all the way into November past the day. Okay, so what does that mean? It means take care of yourself. Drink water. Ground yourself. Go out and touch grass, as they say. Go out and, you know, be in nature. It's going to be beautiful, right? It's it's not going to be beautiful. It's, it's why well, anyway, for the majority of the country, it's going to be beautiful. If you're in an area that has been hit by the storms, look, I love Lake Lure. I love Asheville. I love that area. Seriously love that area. My heart goes out to you. You guys are also learning a huge lesson on discernment because you've got people right there in your community saying things that are not true. And I know that drives you crazy and I'm sorry for it. I would just say that, um, this E-L-E-C-T-I-O-N is not the environment. People are saying it's going to be the environment is going to be, but it's not because when you're mucking out your house, you're not processing that. But guess what? In 2026, 100%, it's going to be the driving factor in 2026. It's going to be the driving factor in 2028. We cannot they're telling me humans can no longer abide by these types of, of environmental disasters. We want more protection from our government. We understand the role the government plays. We're going to be holding our state governments accountable to helping us. Also, shout out to the Biolab fire that's still burning in Georgia. Did you know that? These people have been sheltering in place for a week. Imagine not being able to go out, send your kids to school, go out and play, go to the grocery store. Imagine hiding in your house for a week. They cannot get this thing under control. And of course, this is a lower socioeconomic community. 
mostly uh, minority or African American, keep them in your prayers. Keep everyone in your prayers. That's where the compassion comes from. If we're in judgment, our compassion container is full of anger and judgment. Screw that. Screw it. It doesn't help you. It doesn't help anybody. It really doesn't. Judgment, being angry and ju judgmental about 45 or anybody else is not put them in jail. That it doesn't help. It doesn't, it doesn't help anything. It actually is like you drinking poison. Instead, throw that out. Give it to karma to the universe to deal with. You bring in compassion for yourself, compassion for your fellow humans, whatever color they are, whatever religion they are, whatever political party they are. Because if you send them love, light, and compassion, they have a better opportunity to get that love, light, and compassion and to wake up and go, I'm tired of the hate. But if you're sending them judgment and angry, they're going to fight back. And the poor people who are victims get nothing. Okay. Compassion, compassion, compassion for yourself too. Okay. Take really good care. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll be back this week, probably with one more video, at least around politics, because I am going to be out of town at my event, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and a little bit next week. So for a few days there, I'm going to be out of pocket, but I'm going to do as much as I can before I leave. And again, as something cray cray goes down, I will try to come on and let you know what the guides have to say about it. Okay. I'll see you real soon. Take really good care. For entertainment purposes only, 